Hey, happy Halloween, guys. How's it going? Let me know how I sound. Let me know how it looks. Um, I'm a total newbie at going live, and I got all kinds of new gear here, so um, anything can go wrong. And I'm also, we're going to get sugary because it's happy Halloween. We're going to pick my favorite candy here. And I got tons of pillows right over there if you can see them. So, uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to, I don't know, do some pillow talk and answer your guys' questions if you have any. Let's see here. I think... Oh, I think I can show people. Uh, let me see here. I can show. There we go. Hey, how's it going, Professor Gnomes? And we got Christina. Christina is my number one fan. And so let me know, guys, how I sound, if I sound all right. Everything is perfect awesome. So going live is always freaking, you know, it's freaking scary because I have all these cords and I'm setting up. I got this big, huge light. And the cats are pulling on cords, so anything could go wrong at any time. But that, I guess that's part of the fun. Um, how's it going, Christina? So, yeah. So, basically, I just wanted to, you know, do a happy Halloween episode. I figured I, I finally have a camera that can go live without all those annoying overlays. And um, so, you know, I, I think I was like, let me, let me just go live randomly and see who's actually going to watch. And, um, and so, yeah. And plus, I figured, why not just eat candy with you guys, because it gives me an excuse to eat candy. So, let's see here. All good here, Christina says. Awesome. So, um, if, if you guys have any questions at all, let me know, because this, this is just this is just for fun, really. But, um, okay, so growing up, starting off with Heath. If you guys have not tried Heath, oh, it won't focus. Heath is the best. Well... Growing up it was, because I think I knew someone who worked at the factory. And so, the guy who worked there would just give you like six full-size, you know, king-size bars. So, he did pretty good. If you guys have had Heath, let me know. Mmm. Christina, not much, just playing around on Facebook. Nothing wrong with that. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to figure out Facebook because... You can do YouTube stuff on Facebook. They know they have their own system, and the, I guess they actually give you more—I don't know—more attention on Facebook. I don't know how true that is, but apparently Facebook is legit for doing live stuff. And there's even programs that let you go to live on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook at the same time. So if I really wanted to be serious about going live, you know, I would do—I would do that probably. That and cleaning, not so fun. Yeah, um, I was making kombucha last night until about midnight. So I have a huge thing of kombucha, which is, if you don't know what kombucha is, it's, it's fermented tea. And so you, you make some sweet tea, and then you let it ferment for about a week or so. And then you bottle it up and flavor it. And so I was flavoring it last night. And I was making a huge mess, because when you make three gallons, it's my first time doing it. I was just spilling, you know, sweet tea everywhere. Um, so, yeah, but I'm, I'm super excited. I'm, I might do a live video of me trying it for the first time because I really haven't, I've never really drank kombucha. I've kind of sipped it a little bit, but, and I've never made my own. So let me know if you guys have, have had kombucha or not because um, I'm kind of late to the game. Let's see here. My glasses are, man, these are dirty. All right, what, let's see here. I'm, let's see here. Hmm, what kind of candy? All right, so this is a big disappointment. Whoppers, they're kind of lame. I don't know. Malted milk. They, I feel like they used to be better when I was a kid. Now they kind of taste more like waxy almost. But that could just be me. Well, And you never open it up like this and pop it out. I would just tear it out like an animal. This is how you, this is how you eat it, like this. Ah. Hmm. Christina has never heard of kombucha. So look it up if you're interested. It's spelled K-O-M-B-U-C-H-A, kombucha. It's like an ancient drink. The whole point of it is that it's really good for your gut and healing your gut. And gut health is really important. And so it's like a bunch of probiotics in there and um, good bacteria that helps you build a good 
biome, I don't know what the word is, <laughs> bio, um, flora, that's what they call it, flora. If you're like super nerdy and you got good gut health, you know, oh man, I got good flora. That, that'll impress him. Oh no! Stopped. Oh, did I, did it stop working? Hmm. No. Really weird. Well, hopefully it didn't stop. So what's the difference between hmm. the millions of online mattress companies out there? Why is it playing? Oh, it's trying to play my own video. I don't know why it stopped. Let me know if it's working. Oh, it's all good here. Huh. Sometimes it does weird things. <laughs> Everything is plugged into my MacBook Pro. And so what that means is, you know, more can go wrong. But uh, uh, let's see here. So while I was creating, while I'm trying to create a good flora, gut health, I'm also destroying it with more sugar. Yeah, so Whoppers, no go. We don't like Whoppers. Um, okay, Milk Duds. It's been a while since I've had Milk Duds. I remember they would get uh, super hard and stuck in the back of your teeth. But that was in Michigan when it was a lot colder. So maybe they're smoother out here. I don't know. It's probably just me, Professor Gnomes. It could be. So milk duds are great and terrible. If you have like a filling or a cavity or just teeth problems, these little guys, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> these guys are not good. I think it's just caramel. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, softer. If I can squeeze it, uh, can, can you see that? Oh, you can't see that. It just wants to focus on my face. But if I can squeeze it and pull it, it's definitely soft. So, this is better than my memory. This, this is better than what I remember. <laughs> yeah, see, it will get sharp. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I gotta chew a lot. There was this trick growing up. I don't think this was I don't think it was with these boxes. I think it was with the um what are the gummy drop things? I forgot the fruity tooties or whatever. Anyway, you would get this box and you blow into it, and if you got it just right, it would make a really strong whistle sound. So while you're trick-or-treating, you can, you know, I don't, I can't do it anymore. Oh, well, it's stuck. It's stuck. Mm-hmm. I'm getting cavities, so. All right. So, myth duds are better than I remember. Hmm. Let me know below if you guys like milk duds. We got two people watching. Hmm. Maybe I gotta message people. Hmm. Should I give people more time? Hmm. Man, those things are chewy. Okay, let's see. Did I, did I send it on Facebook? Um. Here's what I don't like about Facebook: is there's a lot of garbage on here now. I just kind of prefer Instagram. Yeah, I, I think I sent it on Facebook. Christina is not a fan of Milk Duds. She gets, that gets a no-go from Christina. All right, so these are my dad's favorite, Almond Joy. Almond Joy is, well, it's, it's just like mounds, if you've had a mounds, but it has a little almond. I feel like I'm describing this to a person who is maybe like blind or something, or from a different country maybe. But my dad's favorite is Almond Joy because you get the crunch. You always get the crunch. You always get the little nubbin crunch. I am not smoking any cigar tonight, but maybe tomorrow night. I'm thinking about having a cigar. I've had a, um, I have a Tatawahe um, Jekyll cigar. Perfect Halloween cigar. Yeah, 
These are good. Mm hmm. It's almost too sweet, though. That's the problem with Almond Joy. If it was just a little less sweet, I think it'd even be better. I think so. Mm hmm. So let me know what you guys, what your favorite candy is. Snickers used to be the best, but I think I ate too many of them. Kit Kat was also, like, amazing. Um, I'll do pillow talk later. I got so many pillows. The reason I wanted to do this is because I have, like, 30 pillows, and I wanted to talk about pillows, but then I thought it'd be kind of lame. But here I am anyway, just sitting eating candy, kind of being lame. All right, so the king of mo for most people, the king is Reese's. Problem with Reese's is they're also kind of too sweet. They're not smooth. I don't know. They're not smooth peanut butter. Yeah, so I, if you guys didn't know, Christina and I, we love cigars. So this is a mini Reese's. Let's see here. This is the perfect size. With this size Reese's, you're not going to get sick of them. This one has chocolate on the outside for some reason. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Okay. How many people are watching? Two or three? Oh, I got four people watching. All right. We got a party. Let me know down below. What's your favorite candy? And if I have it, I'll eat it. But mm, and give this thing a like. And let me know. What are you doing for Halloween? All right, so Reese's is, is probably the best. Well, like, if you're going to only have one, you know, candy or Halloween candy, it's probably going to be Reese's for me. That or Kit Kat. Oh, Kit Kats. Kit Kats are a little too... I don't know. There's not a lot to them. It's just... They're just kind of like air. I mean, they're good air. Mm-hmm. Do you know what your state's top... To, well, I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna look that up. Mm, let me look that up. I gotta Google. Let me go to Google. Let's see. Um, Michigan top candy top candy bar. Top candy sold. Let's see here. Oh my lord, there's there's like f forums on this. Oh, it says Michigan Starburst. Starburst is the m most sold in Michigan. And I live in Arizona, and so Red Hots are the most popular in Arizona. Red Hots are kind of eh. Or not Red Hots, uh, Hot Tamales. Yeah, what's up, bud? Do I candy? You want candy? Say hi to the people, man. Go, yeah, say hi. Okay, uh, let's see here. Zero candy bar. What the heck is a zero candy bar? I've never even heard of zero. Reggie, have you heard of zero? Yeah. Uh, Christina, Montana? No, I think it's Missouri. Is Skittles and Reese's. I think I have Skittles right here. Yeah. You want Skittle? <laughs> I think he's hungry too. All right, let's try some Skittles. Let's try some Skittle. Okay, my favorite Skittles. I guess they're flavor. I don't know. They're all kind of the same. The red ones are my favorite. Here's a nice red one. Ready? You like red Skittle? Yeah. All right, you're being blocked. Here. Yeah. Here. There you go. Now we can see you. All right, if you guys didn't know, my cat's name is Reggie. He's a big ham. Orange is pretty good, too. So Skittles are great, but... I feel like I get sick of Skittles. I don't know. And they got like tropical, and they got like this type and that type. There's a lot of different types of Skittles, and I don't know, it's just too much for me. 
Just stick with the original. The Sour Skittles are pretty good, though. If you don't have Sour Patch Kids, you gotta get a Sour Skittle. Missouri! I was right! Alright, we got, we got five people watching. You gotta like it. You gotta like it. Otherwise, no one's gonna see you. Oh, let's see here. There's a Reese's Candle. Why haven't I heard of this? I'm gonna look for one. I would get one, too. There's a candle right there. Do you see that candle right there? That's actually a pipe tobacco candle. It's cherry flavored. Hmm. What's your favorite candy? Huh? My dog is right here. <laughs> Alright, so Skittles are good. They have met my expectations. Milk Duds went above. Whoppers went below. Almond Joy is just always good. Keith, always good. Reese's, the king. Alright, alright. Let's get diabetes. Alright, so Snickers. This is like the baseline. If you're going to judge all Halloween candy, it's you're going to bait you're going to judge it based off of Snickers. All right. So Snickers has everything you want. Snickers is like the Big Mac of the candy world. That's how I describe. I mean, I don't know. It makes sense if you don't think about it. It's got the nougat. It's got the peanut butter. It's got the the graham. It's got the chocolate. Mm, it's got some caramel. It's got everything. There's literally nothing, this cannot go bad, you know what I mean? I mean, it can go bad, but there's nothing more or less I want. It's just right there. If it was maybe a tiny bit less sweet, like if this was like darker chocolate, oh yeah. I think they make dark chocolate ones too. But, okay, so if it was dark chocolate and a little bit crunchier, then it might be perfect. Then it might dethrone Reese's. You guys want to see something cool? All right. So I'm going to show you something. And you have to guess what it is. All right. Here we go. Oh, no. Here's the, uh, <laughs> here's the map I was just talking about. All right. So if you can see this, Texas, huge Reese's. Looks like, uh, what is that? Uh, what? Is that Kentucky? No, Pennsylvania. Swedish fish looks like that's Kentucky right there. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, let's see. Can I change this camera? I think I can. Hmm. I think I can. How do I change that? little camera I don't know but here's what I'm, I find interesting Ca California loves Skittles but Nevada loves candy corn like why wait candy corn is up here in, uh, in Iowa in North Dakota like who is eating candy corn that's my question Ew, candy corn is over here too and what is it it's like chocolate candy corn I think that's um, my, uh, what, what, oh, wow. What is that? Missouri? I guess that's Missouri. I don't know. Man, what is that? I think it's Missouri by Nebraska. I don't know. Wait a minute. Oklahoma? They, bubblegum. Like, who is eating bubblegum and being like, oh, I love the best candy? Now, I will say this. Twix has got it right. Twix, uh, or Alaska has got it right. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the comments. Let's see here. With coconut, yes. Snickers with coconut would be great. He's, you're from Oklahoma? What the heck? Okay, Oklahoma. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. The bubble. The super bubble yum or whatever you call it. Uh, Professor Gnomes, candy corn is delicious. Ugh. Let me know if you guys love candy corn. It, to me, it's so waxy. It's basically not even food at this point. Nice. Hey, sorry, but I have to go. All right, bye, Christina. Have a great night. Happy Halloween. We guys, let's send her some love here. 
Um, son is having sensory overload. Oh yeah, you gotta, you gotta. Um, uh, what's it called when you center someone? You stabilize them. You center them. Yep. 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 Um. Hmm. Jolly Rancher. That's pretty interesting. I think that's Utah. I haven't had a Jolly Rancher in a long time. All right. How do I change this? Okay. Um. Camera. Oh, I can change it. Okay. Now, but can I zoom in? Oh, I can zoom in. Okay, but can I pan? Oh, don't move my head. Okay, so this is a good, this is good. I got the good camera and you can see my screen. All right. Hey, how's it going, Pete? Uh, we are just... I don't know, we're just talking about candy. I'm, I was going to talk about um, pillows, because I got a lot of pillows. We can talk about the best or the worst kind of pillows. But Pete, let me know what, what state are you from and what is your favorite candy? Because based on this map, a lot of different... Look at Sour Patch Kids. Maine likes Sour Patch. You know, I thought Maine would be like boring. Like I thought Maine for sure would be candy corn. Um, it looks like Oregon... Uh, Reese's okay. Oregon, don't you? That's my. Oh, that was a motorcycle. Hmm. Okay, Hawaii. Is that Reese's or what is that? I think. I don't know what that is. That could be a lot of. Hawaii is so small, you can't even tell. Hmm. Let me know. Let me know what your. Uh, yeah. Look at the cat. He's tired. Little Reggie. Um, so yeah, we're almost done here. Okay. Um, Kit Kat Skittles. Have I tried every... Alright, so when these came out, I was about 10 years old. Reese's, or Hershey's uh, Cookies and Cream. So this is like the white chocolate, like Oreo flavor. Um, I was addicted to these for like two, three years. Right when they came out. Uh, let's see here. I remember telling my dad. I remember literally telling my dad, we have to go to the grocery store because the one by our house had these at the checkout aisle. That, and I was like, yeah, if we go grocery shopping, we can get some of these. I think he fell for it. So, I don't know. They're not really my favorite anymore because they're kind of waxy. I mean, they're all right. I think it would just have regular chocolate, though, you know? How much sugar is in this thing? Eh, doesn't tell you. When I was a little kid, I went to the Hershey's factory. That was pretty cool because they would just give you chocolate everywhere. See how it's made. Oh. Huh. All right, so this this is too waxy. Too. This is like a candle that I shouldn't eat, but I'm still eating. You know, that's what this is. I mean, I like it. But it feels wrong. I don't know. Did you ever have chapstick growing up that you would just kind of like lick a little bit? <laughs> Sometimes I would just kind of eat chapstick. This is like that. Like it's not good, but you kind of do it anyway. Mm hmm. All right, Pete. Pete lives in California. Um. His favorite candy. He likes all candy. They have to, <laughs> they have to hide stuff from him. Well, based on the map, you like Skittles, or you, at least that's what you're prone to liking, I guess. Yeah, I'm kind of a sucker for most candy too. I don't know if you could tell, but I put a whole bowl right by my head. Let, let me know how this live stream is looking, because th this is uh, my first time trying new camera and all that. Mm -hmm. Have I tried everything? I think I've tried... I, I don't know. I think I've tried I'm going to just eat some more Kit Kat. Huh. 
All right, what is the Illinois one? Is that? I think it's just regular Hershey's. Hmm. My wife is from Chicago, so. Oh wait a minute. No, that's Kit Kat. Okay, go. Kit Kat. If I find this, <laughs> I'm gonna have to hide it from you, ma'am. Sour Skittles. They have the um, what's that acid? Um, citric acid. Ooh, yeah, baby. Oh, baby. All right, we got three people watching. Should I get into the pillows, or is that kind of lame? I don't know. I guess so far, really, Reese's is my favorite still. Tried them all. Oh, we haven't tried Twizzlers. Now, interestingly enough, Twizzlers, I don't think I see them on the map. Do you see them on the map? Mm, Twizzlers is, I guess they're not the most popular anywhere. But Twizzlers is, to me, substandard to Red Vines. Red Vines is like the OG licorice. Or cherry licorice. Twizzlers is kind of like the lame, like, I'll take it. But I don't love it. Mm. The Red Vines, okay, the best way to describe it is Red Vines has this sort of like... I don't know. Like, it dissolves in your mouth a little bit. This is very tough. And then it snaps. Whereas Red Vines has more of a chewy... I don't know. Mm -hmm. With the skills, you're right. The citric acid will burn a hole in the roof of your tongue. We used to have these warhead candies growing up. Mm, let me know if you've had warheads. But all my friends would have holes in the top of their mouth. Because they would uh, eat too many of them. Right? They were so addicted to warheads. <laughs> the hard and soft pat would have damage. Uh, pretty nasty. They don't make them as, they still make warheads, but they're not nearly as sour. Like, they were like a health concern. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Pete, yeah, see, you know what I'm talking about. All right, we got five people watching. We need five more, so like this or comment or share. What is your favorite Halloween candy? Oh my gosh, I am getting a little bit. Oh, I think I've tried them all. There's, there's not going to be any left for the kids. Uh, let's see here. K Barry, any new cigar video coming up? No, not really. I've kind of stopped doing cigar videos because YouTube, they don't monetize them. They don't share them because they can't make money on them. They kind of group it alongside vaping and cigarettes, you know, they, they just kind of, they don't show those videos. And so it really sucks. Like, I'm, I'm a huge fan of cigars. I started the channel with cigars. I still love pipes and, you know, I love it. But as far as, you know, spending time and energy and money doing that, like, it's just, it's basically impossible at this point. So I've kind of had to change you know, like w with this channel, basically, like I, I did a few mattress reviews and then it kind of blew up and I just kind of slowly went in that direction. Um, so this year, like, for instance, I got a new um, LLC. I call it's called AM to PM. AM to PM. And so, you know, I do coffee stuff, AM and PM stuff like the uh, the beds and the pillows and all that. So, you know, it's great having AM to PM. Um, but I do miss the cigar stuff. I miss the community of the cigar world. Um, cause at the time it was just me and cigars, uh, cigar obsession. Um, this was like 2010. Um, you know, so 2009 I started, I put my first YouTube video out in 2009. It wasn't on this channel, but, um, you know, I just, I don't know. I just kind of had to shift a little bit and kind of change my niche a little bit. Kind of sucks. Warheads are awesome! <laughs> true, true. Eat a whole bowl live. If I eat this whole bowl live, I think we'd be in the hospital. I think I would have a diabetic coma. 
Um, how do you, how did your Cuban cigar working for you? Great. My Cuban cigars are great. Um, you know, Cuban cigars, they still, a lot of them have draw problems or burn issues, but the flavors are on point. The flavors, especially on the little baby Monte Cristos, the last third is like really tasty. Um, and they're fun because they're like 30 minute cigars. And so in the morning, if I have a coffee, I can enjoy uh, a media Corona. So, did the cigars come pre-aged? I don't think so. Most Cuban cigars are um, probably rushed in production a little bit. So, there's so much demand for them. I, I don't think they were pre-aged. If they were, they would probably say something. Um, and Cuban cigars, you know, they're still, it's still illegal to buy them. You can get them overseas. There's no limit. You can bring them back as personal luggage on your personal, for personal use. But I found out after I did the video that technically I, the company that I got them from said I couldn't, so they, they said it was legal, but when I asked the treasury department, they said, no, it's illegal. So I'm like, okay, this is kind of a really weird gray area. I could literally go to Mexico, which is three hours that way, and get cigars and bring them back, and that's fine. But if I buy them online, that's illegal. So, kind of sucks. Yeah, I didn't want to get in trouble, really, so. Yours came pre-H. See, well, whoa. That's awesome. Uh, Kay Berry, do, 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 thinking about buying some, you should definitely buy some. And, you know, that Monte Fortuna, it came sealed really nicely. They weren't very expensive. Um, free shipping, I think over 150 bucks. I mean, they're great. They were really nice. Um, I ended up paying for the cigars because I, it was, because I didn't do the review. I mean, I did the review, but it was technically illegal, so I didn't want to get in trouble. So I, you know, I just said, I'll pay for it. And I'll just, whatever, you know. Anyway, I got two boxes of Petit Edmundos from Monte Fortuna. So I think those are the size a little bit bigger than the Media Corona. And I'm pretty sure they're really good. Uh, that's why I couldn't find the site. Yes, that's right. So I made the review and then I got scared. I emailed the Treasury Department and they said, yes, that is illegal. The company lied to you. It's it's technically illegal. I don't think anyone cares, but... Um, so then I took it down and I just did the cigar review. So the cigars themselves are not illegal. It's, I guess, how I got them, technically. So don't share this video. <laughs> I'm pro I'm, this is like a confession, probably, if I do get in trouble. Oh. Oh, my wife's calling me. Just a few months ago you bought them. Okay, so... So that means they're working. Hmm. Yeah, so Monte Fortuna, uh, Puro Express, I've, I've used them before. My stepdad used them a lot. Um, you know, they all, they're all they all Switzerland-based or, like, maybe Hong Kong-based. Um, but, yeah. So your box says 2017. So, yeah, it's two good years. That ain't bad at all, man. This is kind of a cool scene. I think this camera is actually a lot better than my last camera. And Oh yeah, by the way, we have the new mattress on. This is the Avocado. This is like the purely organic mattress. So if you guys are looking into um, a new bed, an organic mattress, this thing is like, you know, the most healthiest bed you can get. Um, let's see, I think they sent me pillows too. Got so many pillows. <laughs> oh, oh. No space in here. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. So Avocado also sent me pillows. I think you. They're Green Guard certified. One percent for the planet members. So that means they're sustainably made. I think they're made in a nice satchel bag here. Reggie, help me out. Okay, let's see here. Oh, okay. So I'm pretty picky when it comes to pillows. 
Um, I've discovered that if you get a really thick pillow, it's kind of not good for your neck. It pushes your neck forward. So I've been looking at skinnier pillows and organic pillows. So this should be organic. I think so anyway. All right, come on, let's see what this is. Whoa, huge king size. Look at that, it's not too thick and it's organic. So this could be my new perfect pillow. It doesn't have any smells or anything. And you know, it's really, it's hard to find good king size bed, uh, pillows that are organic and thin. You'd be surprised. Um, whoa! The cat really wanted that pillow, I guess. Are you gonna try one of them horse hair made beds that 2 Chain did a review on? No, but I kinda really wanted 2 Chains did a review on a horse hair bed. Now I kinda wanna get one. So yeah, this is the current pillow I'm on. I think I, you know what I did? I saw a TED talk and the TED talk said that, you know, primates and people from the Eastern world, uh, they sleep on their arm like this and it creates good spinal alignment. And so when you sleep with a really thick pillow, your spine is no longer aligned, it's tilted forward. And um, it might feel comfortable, but you're actually causing stress on, especially your neck. Um, and so it's all about spinal alignment. And really, I guess the most natural way is to not even really need a pillow because you're using your arm, um, you know, or like this. You know, that's kind of how, how apes and chimpanzees sleep. And most of the Eastern world apparently does that. But anyway, so here's my current pillow. It's very thin. See how thin it is? It's super thin. So I'm hoping this, ooh, it's soft and pliable. It's relatively thin. So maybe this is gonna be the new perfect pillow. Let me, here's my oldest pillow. I've had this since like high school. See how brown and gross it is? Ooh, that's like a decade. It got so old that I just kinda had to retire it. But this was when like memory foam was really popular. It, it was really orange. And um, they don't really make it like this anymore. But what, what I liked about this one is it had this nice curve to it. So your head could fit in here and it would be nice and thin right there and your head would kind of be cradled. It wouldn't fall out as much. So this was my favorite one for a while. But um, it got a little old. You don't want to keep them too long because bacteria, mold, mites, they can grow in pillows. So after a year or two, you should probably just, you know, if you can't really wash them too much, you gotta get rid of them. This is a good one. Here's why I like this one. It's thin, it's pliable. This is a good, well, which one is this one? Sometimes the cheap ones are the best ones. This one's not organic, but I don't know. This is just a no name. That's pretty good. All right, so this one's a bad one. This company, uh, God bless them. Companies send me stuff all the time. And, oh, what a good pillow that won't go flat. Yeah, I think everyone wants a good pillow that won't go flat, that is organic, thin, removable cover. See, oh, you see, you don't like the thin ones. See, the thin ones I've found are actually just better for alignment, especially in your side. Uh, dude, if that horsehair bed costs 30 grand, that's nuts. Hey, how's it going, Caesar? Caesar's my neighbor. But uh, yeah, so this company called Supporty Back, they sent a ton of stuff, and I was like, great, I'm gonna review it and love it because they sent it. Not really true. This is a very firm, super firm, and it was just too thick for my neck. It was just like kinked up, you know, and I can't really, you can't really adjust this thing. It's just a hard piece of foam. At least I could take the cover off, you know, but. I don't know if I would recommend this. I mean, I don't know. It's just a little too firm. But, um, oh, they sent another one. That's right. Oh, yeah, yeah. This one's the cooling one. See how see how it's kind of blue? Blue means cool, you know, which it feels good for a second. But, I mean, you have a cover on here and a sheet. And it's going to warm up very fast. So I think if it's blue, if it has the cooling gel, it's mostly just marketing BS. Here's a weird pillow I had. Uh, I reviewed this one. This is, what is this one called? The, oh, I forget the name, Spinaline. So this one, you can unzip each part and you can take out the foam and adjust it. And it's really interesting because this is designed to keep your spine aligned. 
but I've noticed that it's only good in like one position and that you actually kind of suffocate yourself a little bit. Um, so this one's only really good if you sleep on your back. Um, but it's certainly a unique design and I, I think it's really, uh, you could use it a lot of different ways. It's just, it takes a lot of practice to get used to this one. So for most people, this is a no-go. Uh, let's see here. This is my wife's pillow. It's pretty good. It's pretty firm, kind of basic, but it squishes nicely. So you can see over time it squishes. So this is a pretty good one for her. Oh my gosh, we got so many. Here's a really, here's why I like the cheap ones. Oh, have you looked into Lectures Cigar Club yet? I have not. Sounds good though. There's so many, I was getting emails about once a week. Hey, review my cigars. Hey, join this. Hey, join that. We'll, you know, we'll give you free this, we'll give you free that. And it was great. I mean, I like free cigars. But here's the problem. It wasn't, it, it was just like work, you know. And instead of making money on the review of this cigar, I mean, the cigars were free. You know, maybe I'll get $30 of free cigars. But I would put in 10 hours of work, you know, to make all the video reviews. And so... It, it ended up actually costing me money. You know, if you think about hourly wages and things like that, $3 an hour, you know. I could work and use the money to buy more cigars than it was to get free cigars, free, you know. So, yeah, so it became a lot of work. I and, mean, you know, cigars, when you're working, when you know, when you're making cigar reviews, it becomes a job. And so all of a sudden cigar smoking wasn't very enjoyable because it was just review, review, review. And I couldn't just enjoy them anymore. So that's another reason why I stopped. Let's see here. Those firm ones look perfect for me. What's it called again? The firm ones, I'm going to do a review on them. They're called... Uh, they're called um, Supporty Back. I wish I had a logo for you. Here it is. Supporty Back. S U P P O R T I Back. Supporty Back. And um, they're all right. I just think, I think, you know what? I think they're a little overrated for me anyway. And that's the problem with pillows is everyone, you know, they like different things. Hey, Mr. Blue, let us know what are you smoking right now. K. Berry, Luxury Cigar Club. Yes, yeah, so Luxury Cigar Club, I think I've tried them. They're pretty good. Um, I prefer buying my own cigars, um, sourcing them, you know, but the clubs are great too. They're kind of fun. No, I haven't stopped cigar smoking. I love cigar smoking. I just don't do the, the videos on them because, um, again, it just ended up costing me more then, uh, you know, it was costing me, you know, oh, we'll send you free cigars, but you got to do all the reviews and make no money on it. And so, you know, it was just like, man, this is kind of like, it's costing me more than the cigar is worth. I prefer firm. Yeah. So if you prefer firm Caesar, you would love this it's super firm. It's got the cooling gel for Arizona. This is your pillow, man. Supporty back. Tell them I sent you. And I think they're on Amazon. So I'm probably going to do like a video. I'm probably going to do like a formal version of this and talk about every pillow. And I'm probably going to put a bunch of links down. Actually, check the links down below. Maybe I didn't put them down there now, but they'll be down there. But the no-name ones that are like super easy to move, these ones are really good on the back, I think, because they're not too thick. This is a basic Serta. And so... You know, this is like the standard pillow that I think most people could be happy with. You know, I don't think I'm breaking my neck. I don't know. It's not like going to be cooling or too soft. This is just like the middle of the road. This is a decent pillow, you know. Not too many bells and whistles. Oh, see? Oh, jeez. Oh, my Lord. Ghost bed, they sent this to me. And now, the unique thing about ghost bed is that this cover, this material is this like cooling i don't know what you call it it's a weird cooling it feels really cool to the touch now that's great but again you can't really feel that once you uh put a sheet on it 
and let's see here, it should have cooling gel as well. Yeah, so it's, it has cooling gel, cooling memory foam inside. So this is super cool. It's, it can go flat, but this one is just a little bit weird. I don't know. I, know, I just didn't like this one. It just, it didn't have character. You know what I mean? You gotta have character. Hey James, what happened with Dana and Bradley from Zeal? Do you know why they split? Um, I don't know everything. I think I know. It sounds like, I don't know. It sounds like Dana mm, kind of did her own thing and kind of did her own side thing. And it sounds like Bradley mm, didn't want that image associated with his company. And Dana probably, she might have wanted more responsibility in the company. I, I, I don't know. I don't talk to them. I've never met Dana, actually. But she's not, she seems nice. It looks super comfy. It is comfy. Yes, it does. Looks really comfy. What was the one before the ghost pillow? Uh, was it this one? The standard Serta. So the Certas are, the Cer I think Serta is the largest company that makes beds in the world. It's just a standard Serta. Uh, let's see here. 100% polyester fiber. Mm, you can't remove the cover. But this, you know, this is a good standard option. It doesn't really have... Oh, does it have a name? No, no name. Just a Serta. Standard Serta. You know, I got... Oh, let me show you this one back here. Come on. All right. Oh. This is another supporty back. Now this thing was way too thick and I could not move it at all. But then I discovered the cool thing about this one is, um, let's see here. It's, oh yeah, yeah. It's a cover inside of a cover. So this is all recycled foam. So when they have these mattresses, they cut them to size and they have all this leftover foam and they can sell it, they can resell it to people to make um, to make pillows. So this is just like recycled, reused foam. But the cool part is I can take this out and make it the perfect shape for me. So at first I was like, what the heck is this thing? This is a ripoff. It's not even good foam, it's just recycled foam. But the idea is that you can customize it. You know, the, the whole idea is that you can take the cover off, clean it, customize it, you can, you can break it in the way you want, maybe you should, you know, fit it, take out the foam to fit your head. Um, so this one has potential, I just haven't really used it. So so this is also a supporty back. Oh my gosh, so many pillows. So many pillows. So this is the regular supporty back. And this, this is the one you can take out the foam. It's way too thick. It looks like a third grader, doesn't it? <laughs> um... Oh yeah, you talking to me? You talking to me with that pillow? <laughs> pillow talk. Yes, yeah, so we're just doing goofy pillow talk, I guess. So I literally have, you know, sometimes these mattress companies they'll send their pillows with the mattress. Most of the time, those those pillows are not. I don't like them. So I wouldn't say buy a mattress because it comes with pillows. I mean, it seems like a nice benefit, but. Most of the time, I'm not happy with the pillows, you know. Pillows are... Pillows are very subjective anyway. Here's the other uh, avocado one. I think we should just use these because these are a king-size pillow. We have a king-size bed. Let's see here. And being organic and thin, you know, these are all... These are, these are good signs. Uh, you know, I guess... Now I'm the pillow guy, you know? I didn't think I'd be the pillow guy on the Halloween eating candy. How do I open this again? That's sealed. But the reason I think avocado, this, this bed right here is super expensive. But it seems to have every organic feature. It's sustainable. Um, it's got like Green Guard Gold certified. It's got everything. So you're really paying not just for the materials, but for the way it's made. 
and uh, you know organic everything. You know this is like the most premium bed. Oh, my wife is home. Maybe she'll join us. Do you think I can get her to join us? Let's see. Please do a review of the pillows. Yeah, so I'll probably do like a formal review. And we'll have fun doing that. By the way, my wife, she I think she's a Visco girl. She put, um, she's got a scrunchie and a water, a hydro flask. I think it means she's a Visco girl. Do you guys know what a Visco girl is? Four people watching. All righty. Let's see if she comes. Sammy. I'm going live. Yeah. You want to say hi? Mm hmm. How was your trunk or treat, babe? Whew. Is it hot in here? Oh. I feel like it's hot. Let me open up these windows. I'm going to open up some windows here. It's all this candy, I tell you what. All the candy. <clears throat> So, right now I'm doing a review of the Tufts and Needle Hybrid, so you guys are going to see that very soon. And then next week we're going to do a review of the Avocado. Hybrids, if you don't know, are the ones with pocketed coils. And so they're kind of taking over the world right now. Open the window, it's cold! Yeah, I just opened up both windows because it's freaking hot in here and it's cold outside, so it'll be perfect. Isn't that funny how cold in Arizona is like 70 or 60 degrees like back home that would be like summertime let's see here um, hmm hmm Trying to figure out how to do the settings, but I guess I can't figure it out. We got a thumbs down. Oh man, oh, my life is ruined. <laughs> yeah, I'm freezing. Yeah, I know. Well, here's what happens, dude. Your blood starts thinning. Uh, you know, when you're used to 120, 60 degrees is. I mean, it's half the temperature, so you're freezing. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? My pool went from like nice and warm to like freezing. I, I can't even swim in my pool anymore. Hey, we got a like. All right. It's almost been an hour. Let me know if you have any questions about pillows, mattresses, candy. Let me know what you're doing for Halloween below. And then I'll sign off. Hmm. Let me know if this looks weird. Does this, um, is this screen, is it too colorful? Is it too white looking? Other than me? Hmm. Let's see here. I'm trying to see, how does it look from your point of view? If I log into YouTube, maybe I can go back to the live stream. Yes. Let me know if this looks weird. Oh. Is this, um... It looks great. This is like a killer. It's like in it's like in real HD. Man, I wish I wasn't balding, but other than that, it looks great. Hey, hopefully watching football and smoking a cigar, dude. Nice. 
Yeah, so um, I have a Jekyll, uh, Tatawahi Jekyll. It's the green one, I believe. And, man, I cannot wait to have that cigar. I bought it last year when I went to Napa, California. So it is ready, I think. It's all good, brother. Yeah, let me know if you guys have ever had the Halloween collection from Tatawahi. Because I've never had one of those cigars. I, I bought one, but... I've never had one. Alrighty, well, we have been here for a full hour. Thank you guys so much for watching, for tuning in, for listening to me ramble, for watching me eat candy and play with my pillows. And stay tuned for these, for these reviews. And I think that's it. Did you... Didn't I have the bride? Maybe it was the bride. Was it the bride or was it Jekyll? It's the green one. Whatever one that is. Here, let me find out. The green one. Where's the green one? Tatuai. Hey. Jekyll. Hmm. Jekyll. Hmm. I think it's the Jekyll. What do I know? You know? Is it, I think it's this one. No, this one's a white with green. Which one is it? I think it is this one. I don't know. Talk to Wahe Halloween. Cigars. Let's see here. Hmm. 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 <laughs> I think it's a green, a straight green band. Is it? it? Uh, it could be this. Um, oh, I think it's that one right there. Whatever that one is. What's this one? Yeah, that looks like it, right? The Mo Monster Series, yeah, okay. They're called the Monster Series. Which one is this one, guys? Probably the Jekyll. That's what I think. I think it's probably the Jekyll. James, if you're looking for all of them, check out Ambassador Cigars in Peoria. Uh, yeah, that place is killer. Ambassador's is probably the best place to get a bunch of rare cigars and higher end stuff. Yeah, so yeah, I've been there a few times. It's it's pretty awesome. So anyway, how do, maybe you could buy all of them because every time I look, you can only buy one or two of them. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, I think that's it, guys. If you, eh, well, I think I'll just end it. Hmm. Alrighty, well, thank you guys for watching, and have a happy Halloween, and have a good cigar, and peace.